Imagine being bitten by a snake. Ouch! What would you do right now? In the past, you would have probably prepared to die. Nowadays, of course, you'll try to get to a hospital as soon as possible and hopefully, they'll have the specific antidote you require. But to me, someone who likes to go to the beginning of everything, that begs the question, when was the first antidote invented? In the last century? No. In the Middle Ages? No. The idea of an antidote actually goes back all the way to the Stone Ages. Our Neolithic ancestors who lived around that time are likely to have already experimented with various herbs believed by them to cure poisoning, with various results. But the first documented universal antidote dates back to Mediterranean antiquity. During the 1st century BC, the northern region of Turkey was ruled by King Mithridates VI. Unsatisfied with the size of his domain, he conquered large portions of modern-day Turkey and even annexed some Greek isles. Both, at the time, were Roman provinces. King Mithridates didn't exactly make a lot of friends like this and he was well aware of that. His own father has been assassinated in his youth. And since then, legend has it, the young king regularly consumed a sublethal dose of poisons, making himself immune to them. He later went on to develop a complex universal antidote, the Theriac of Mithridates. It is reported to have contained up to 54 ingredients and had to be consumed on a regular basis. That begs the question, did it work? Well, according to oral tradition, King Mithridates VI tried suicide by poison after his defeat by Roman Pompey. As expected, it didn't work out and he had to command one of his guards to kill him. But to be honest, it didn't work. But nonetheless, after his death, the recipe fell into the hands of Roman physicians who adopted the concept of a theriac a universal antidote against dangerous beasts and their bites and tried to improve the formula across many generations. This improved formula, then called Mithridatum, containing opium, myrrh, saffron, ginger, cinnamon, castor and many other ingredients outlived the Roman Empire and was spread by Arabs all across the Silk Road. The Theriac later known as Venetian treacle, was given by physicians well into the 18th century. Famous patients include the Roman emperors Nero and Marcus Aurelius, as well as the Chinese Tang Emperor Gao Zhong. None of them died of poisoning, although that's probably not attributed to their theriac consumption. So when did effective antidotes first start to appear? Well, that is a topic for another video. Subscribe because you probably don't want to miss out on my next videos and, and feel free to give this video a thumbs up. But for now, let's just have a great day.